53106 is the number for your messages lunchtime at newstalk.ie lots still to come on the programme but we want to talk now about the future of uh, teaching in our schools and uh, there's many different aspects of this story that have been in the news of late but I want to speak first to Michael Nugent of Atheist Ireland he's with me in studio Michael you're very welcome to Newstalk Lunchtime Good afternoon Can I just ask you first of all about uh, the issue of of Hibernia College and, and something that you had issue with on their coursework what was it? Well, they have a religion module on the course. They're a teacher training college, so they're teaching teachers who will in turn be teaching primary children. And as part of the religion module, they had uh, notes that suggested that uh, atheism is responsible for the worst atrocities in world history, linking atheists to Nazis, suggesting that most modern day atheists don't care about this and suggesting that atheists believe that without God, anything is morally justified. Now, all of these things are, are untrue. Was, was it in the form of coursework or was it in the form of... A, it was in the form of, of uh, written notes that were distributed by the college as part of the course and then a a, a question in a mock exam that wasn't a discussion question, was a true or false question. Atheism is responsible for the worst atrocities in world history, true or false. So there wasn't, there, so you had to answer one way or the other. <laughs> you were, and the course notes would have, uh, you know, suggested to you what you were expected to answer if you wanted to get marks. Which was true. Which is, is that it is true, you know, which obviously is incorrect. When this was brought to your attention, uh, this this college, Hibernia College, they train primary school teachers who go on to work in... in Catholic in, schools. In, ca- well, in, in theory, in any school, any right. primary school, but in practice, over 90% of the primary schools are Catholic schools. When you got on to Hibernia College, what did they say? Well, they were, um, I think they're very reasonable about it. I don't think they had realised that the notes uh, were conveying that information. They have agreed to r- remove those uh, offending passages from their notes. I'm writing a, an objective module for them, or not a module, an introductory lesson in the first instance on atheism and non-religious ethics. And then we're going to discuss with them and with other groups how to make their uh, religious module more pluralist. Father Vincent Toomey is also on the line. He's a retired professor of moral theology. Theology. Uh, Father Vincent, good afternoon to you. Good afternoon, Jonathan. Were you involved in drafting that particular I passage? Wrote that particular program, yeah. Uh, why? Uh, the Moral Theology program. And I must say, uh, you know, um, what was just said about the, uh, about the program, of course, is I just wondered did, did the man, did Michael actually read the actual text? I have it in front of me here. Do you want me to read it to you? Yeah, OK. Well, I'll well, I, I just remind the leader. I think you're reading more into it than it's actually uh, in the text itself. Well, can I, can I just but ask, first of all, before the, the, we go context, down that line, Vincent? No, no, the context is very, very important. The context is the whole question of religion and politics. Yeah, that was the context, yeah? And everyone knows religion and politics is a bad thing. Religion has had very negative effects on political life. That's, that's the background, yeah? However, I then made a point that uh, when you, the fact that you don't have religion doesn't mean to say that you don't have faith, faith in something, God, progress, one's race or gods, uh, and you can atheism, which places faith in some absolute humanism, march of history, materialism, economy, or even hedonism. In other words, you have to have an absolute in life, and very often when, when you don't have religion, it's, it's filled up with something else. And the fact is that uh, something like 100 million people were killed on the basis of the atheist ideology of Marxism, the, the, with the presupposition of, of it being that, um, athe- that God is the, uh, religion is the open of the people, God must be ignored. Likewise, Nazism, when the Nazis did started, the first thing they did was actually to remove religion from the school. Michael, I just want to bring you in on that as a representative of the atheist community. Yeah, well, I mean, again, that's utterly shocking. I mean, I, I'd be happy to discuss your theology with you on, on some other occasion, but on this, we're talking about factual issues. The um, the, the, the Nazis uh, went into battle with God with us written on, on their belt buckles. Uh, Hitler said he was doing, in, in Mein Kampf, said that he was doing the work of the Lord in, in uh, taking on the, the Jews. Um, Stalin was a seminarian. Um, they're, they're first thing that Hitler did, actually one of the first things he did was, was to sign a concordat with the Roman Catholic Church and, and to close down the, the German free thinking movement. So what you're saying is, is just factually all, incorrect all, all, and, and, to, and to suggest, factually incorrect. And, and to suggest that twisting, atheists do not twisting, care about that is twisting. utterly I defamatory. Not. OK, so, General, no. I'd ask you not to speak over each other. Vincent, okay. if I could let you, you, you want to make a point. Yeah, I said, I didn't make any implications of that nature. I, uh, my, what I said there is based on the researches of ex-Marxist French thinkers who compiled the book, Le Libre Moi, the Black Book, 
which on their estimation um, accounts for 100 million deaths due to atheist ideology, namely Marxism. But what, what That's was the fact. What the was other the point? Fact about well, can I, hang on, can I, um, can I just ask you a question? What was yeah. the point of putting that down on uh, a document that was being read by young teachers? I just don't understand why you were forcing them into the, a, the a yes and no document when, when something that, you know, you're well, having that, a debate that here. Is, uh, that is a fact. It is a fact that atheist ideology has produced the worst atrocities in history. The whole Nazi um, regime in Germany and the uh, communist regime in the Soviet Union and in China. There's well, the, no, that, that's just a fact. And yeah. the, the reason I put it is because there is a kind of an assumption in Ireland today, and I say this in my notes, where um, atheism is in. It's fashionable to be atheist. Everyone knows that religion is a dangerous thing, especially when mixed up with politics. My only point was that atheism, too, is a dangerous thing. Well, I'll just say that is, thankfully, Hibernia College uh, don't agree with you. They've removed the offending passages from, from the uh, course notes. And the, the idea that um, atheism is responsible for anything uh, in, in, in terms of, doing, of, of, of ideologies that are based on fascism or Nazism is just incorrect. It's something that the Catholic Church from the Vatican down has been saying for the last few years when um, the Pope came to England last year he compared atheists to Nazis Cardinal Cormac Murphy O'Connor two years ago said that atheists are not fully human this, uh, this constant attempt by, by the Roman Catholic Church to dehumanise Roman to dehuman he did say that on, uh, he, he said that on BBC Radio and, and I can get you the reference I would and, like to see the reference okay well, well uh, if, if, you, if, if, if he did say that do you think that, that it was a correct thing to say you couldn't Oh, well, I'm, that, I'm glad to hear that. Now, now, listen, let, let me tell you, uh, in the, according to the, first of all, with regard to the course that I devised for Hibernia College, another course I devised was actually on world religions. Yeah? And uh, I began with showing the Catholic Church's own attitude to religions, the positive uh, attitude to religions that is found in the Second Vatican Council in the most official documents of the Church where also it says that even those who have no faith, they are not far from God if they're following their conscience. Yeah. May I also say with regard to um, the present Pope, for example, he invited the heads of all the, the world religions to Assisi last, last uh, autumn, I think in September, uh, to pray for peace. He also invited, and this was quite this is the second time only in history that this has happened, he also invited representatives of agnostics because he said these agnostics, and I think most people confuse agnosticism and atheism, people who are searching for God, he said these are very often the leaven in society. And he said in, uh, on that occasion, religion has been uh, responsible for terrible violence in the course of history. Yeah? Okay, That's well, this an acknowledgement. Well, you know? why, why then was that question even put in there, or that... that idea being put yeah. forward to teachers. Why didn't you focus more on the pluralist side of it, that you teach them about all religion so they can explain to the children in their classroom? Well, first of all, I mean, so you're, you're taking one line out of, uh, out of 95 packed pages, you know, and it's, you're taking it out of context as well. And uh, I think if you read the whole thing in context, it is not as you actually, uh, you know, put it up to be. By the way, the the whole, the whole, the, as I devised that course, my main uh, concern was that future teachers of religion would have to think about their faith, not give, give, not turn religion into, into an ideology, which has also happened. When you're giving out, uh, as it were, uh, sound bites to children you don't yourself believe in, you know. I think it's, it's extreme. We're in a situation today that you have to be able to think through whatever conviction you have, and you have to be able to discuss it rationally and and in in in, in a way which really, really is convincing. So I'm very. I stand over my course. I stand over what I said. Um, I've been, I'm not speaking on behalf of Ibernia College. I just was uh, commissioned by them to produce the, the program. Yeah. Oh, I appreciate and, that. And, I want... and, and also, Michael, I mean to say, I also appreciate your, 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 your concern as well. I mean, I say I admire you for, the, for it. 
I, I wish we Catholics had the same kind of concern for the for, for the reputation of, of Catholicism as you have for the reputation of atheism. You know, I must say, I, I'm saying that now in all honesty. I'm not, not being ironic. Michael, well, I, I appreciate that. And look, I, I am quite happy to respect your right to believe whatever you want to believe about the supernatural and, and to, to to preach that right, to yeah. members of, of, of your of your own um, religion. But I think when you're acting with regard to uh, either directly or indirectly the institutions of state, including teaching of, of uh, primary teachers, that you should be objective and critical and pluralistic. And, and, that, and that's well, the, I, the, the, the uh, dividing line for me. Well, I, I agree with you there. And I would claim that I'm trying to be objective and, and, and pluralist and open. And by the way, may I say, one of the um, one, one of the weaknesses, really, I suppose, of, of any kind of a course, even on, on the university or otherwise, is that very often students themselves don't actually question what you're saying. And I welcome the fact that this is being questioned now well, that's because a, it is actually causing a debate. And this, I think, is what we need more of. That's a good thing in its own right. Do you know, have you any idea what the young teachers in the other schools, uh, particularly those that would be linked to the Catholic religion, what they're thought, um, Vincent? Do you know, um, is it something similar? Uh, no, I would say that uh, I have no idea, quite, quite honestly. I have never seen their courses or anything, yeah. But, I, I, I mean, so you, you, you've taken a line out of a complete course. This is only... Well, so but they take, uh, they've four, taken the line four, out as well, four, though. They've four, removed 400, it. 400, 400. Well, I think they have to, you know, if the... And, and this has been proved. Uh, if the text is ambiguous and is open to mis- misunderstanding, it has to be removed, it has to be reformulated, yeah. Michael, end of the matter? Well, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I mean, I'm quite happy that it's removed. I'm quite happy that we have an opportunity to prepare an objective um, lesson for Hibernia College on atheism and non-religion ethics, non-religious ethics. And, uh, and, and then finally, if they can move towards a more pluralist, objective, critical and pluralist approach to their curriculum, then I'm happy with that. Have you any idea what's going on at the other training colleges, what they are um, being asked questions about as part of the coursework? I haven't, but the difficulty is that um, in th- there's a state curriculum in religion that you need in order to teach in uh, in in any primary school then there's an additional religious qualification that the Roman Catholic Church insists that you have in order to teach in Roman Catholic um, schools which is over 90% so we're certainly keen to find out what is in that and to see if that involves any breaches of the, the right to freedom of conscience of students we, John, we, 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 ha- we haven't yet but we will be on foot of this particular issue here John would you mind if I just come in on that you know Hello? Yes, Vincent, go on. Yeah. I think it's quite important. Uh, uh, Michael used the word objective there a few times, and, uh, you know, this is very welcome. I would claim that we, well, what we are producing is equally objective. You know, we are producing an objective. Now, every objectivity is, 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 is open to debate. In other words, uh, as I said, I welcome this debate, but I also would, would affirm that actually what the Catholic Church teaches is inclusive. Not exclusive. And can I just finish up by asking... May may I also say that most Catholic schools treat all those, uh, all Catholics that I know of, all, without exception, treat with great sensitivity and respect the beliefs of the parents of the children whom they are teaching. I think that is any any implication that it is not that this is not the case. If Atheist Ireland wants to make that implication, I would contest that vehemently. And I know this from experience. Every school, and I would say every teacher training college, is bending over backwards not to be offensive to anyone in the school. OK. Well, you clearly offended Atheist Ireland because they raised the issue on this particular case. Just finishing up with you, Father Toomey, if I can yes. just have the last word from you. Yes. Seven new schools were announced yesterday. None of them were under the Catholic banner. Um, is the debate moving on from this already before you, you know it's even resolved? Well, you see, unfortunately, I don't think we've had any real debate, you know. I mean, to say these are very serious issues. Um, and Ireland, this is not the only topic, but Ireland is really quite impoverished with regard to serious debate on serious issues. You notice how Michael and I immediately got at, at each other's throats. You know? <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of, uh, that, 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 that's the kind of, unfortunately, that, well, that, that's the atmosphere that the media creates because of the nature of the media. Well, you, we have, are, you, have to, you have to be, you know, a good, good fight is very good, you see. Well, we, we but, always have time for a serious debate, but unfortunately very, we're out of time on this particular okay. one. We'll have to leave it there. Um, Father well, Vincent Toomey, thank you. Um, thank you very much for talking to us. Michael Nugent of Atheist Ireland. Gentlemen, thank you both very much uh, for discussing that topic with us this afternoon.